The animation for Bosco Shipwrecked is really good, but the narrative is very slow. This is a Warner Brothers cartoon from 1931. It's directed by Hugh Harmon, with voices provided by Bernard B. Brown and Rudolph Ising. And it starts off with Bosco steering a ship, and we have this amazing crack of lightning. I absolutely love that bit of animation. And eventually, he ends up on an island. And I say eventually because it took a long time to get there. And when he's on the island, he's interacting with other animals. And then he comes up against a very ferocious animal who tries to chase him. And the animation there, again, was very good. And then he has further dangers to his life. And I won't say any more than that. I won't give away exactly what happens. I was concerned that it would end up going down the very offensive route. And I will say it's certainly not as bad as some other Warner Brothers cartoons. That might not be saying much. But it's not as bad as I've seen in others. The animation is absolutely fine. The island is pretty great. The water looked amazing. The storm was so intense and it just looked brilliant. And the design of the animals I really enjoyed. But it's very slow. And then when we get to the island, I'd say only really two interesting things happen. And that's, that's not a lot. And that's partly because those interesting things last a, quite a while, but also because the things in between them or around about them are just not very good. Maybe if he'd got to the island a little bit more quickly, we could have brought in a few other things there, explored the island a bit more and interacted with it, and it could have been more entertaining. I know it's strange that I'm asking for the bit that I enjoyed the most, the being on the water, to be shortened, but I feel like there was potential for it to be a lot more interesting. But nevertheless, visually, it's pretty good. Certainly with the, the storm and the choppy waters and the lightning, it, it looked brilliant. It really did look brilliant. And then, as I said, the animals on the island looked great. So visually, I, I rather enjoyed most of it. But as a story, the concept's fine, but I feel like it needed some work. It just wasn't quite there yet. Would I recommend it? Yes, if you're a Bosco fan. But if you're just looking for a good cartoon, then there are many other shipwrecked, stranded on an island based cartoons that I'd recommend. None come to mind, but there are plenty others. So it's probably not going to be for everybody. I didn't mind it. Can't imagine I'd watch it again. But Bosco Shipwrecked is not terrible. 